you guys haven't figured out the scam yet. Well, let me help you figure it out. According to my computer and public records, approximately the numbers, there is that saying that crime does not pay. That was a propaganda back in the 80s and the 90s from the dog McGruff. That is 100% not true. And I will prove it with Exhibit A. According to the numbers, roughly estimates, the Chicago Police Department receives $1 billion a year. A billion dollars a year. Let that settle in and grow for a little while. Not a million, not two million, not three million, not four million, not five million, a billion dollars a year is what you pay for the Chicago Police Department. And exactly how is that working out for you? Hmm. Cook County State's Attorney's Office receives 94 million dollars 94 million dollars plus the 1 billion dollars what does that number come out to so far it looks like crime pays huh you haven't figured out the scam yet have you it gets worse cook county jail receives 300 Million dollars. Ooh. Crime doesn't pay, right? That's yeah, the same shit you're feeding me now. Huh. So a billion dollars, ninety-four million dollars, and three hundred million dollars is what you people pay. You haven't figured out the scam yet, have you? Public Defender's Office received $61 million. It's a lot of money. Cook County Adult Probation receives $41 million. Huh. So $1 billion plus $94 million plus $300 million plus $61 million Plus 41 million. What does that number come out to? You haven't figured out the scam yet, have you? Almost every problem we have in this wonderful country comes from the government and comes from the people. The government, they're just insecure who wants more money. Their psychology is very simple at the bottom line. The end of the day, their psychological profile is very simple. They're insecure, and they like to give jobs to their friends and to people who they meet so they can feel special. Their game is to own a big business and give jobs. That's their end of game. They want to play Jeff Bezos. They want to play Elon Musk. But unfortunately, they want to play Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk with our fucking money, which is no big deal. I'm past that point. They're just insecure. That I understand. You people, though, you allow this to happen. I don't know who said this before, but it's a true fucking statement. You get the government you deserve. This is big fucking business. So let's go over these numbers, and I won't interrupt with trying to add them up because I don't think there's not a calculator in the world that could add this stuff up. The Chicago Police Department receives $1 billion a year. The Cook County State's Attorney's Office receives $94 million a year. Cook County Jail receives $300 million. Public Defender's Office receives $61 million. Cook County Adult Probation receives $41 million. Illinois Juvenile Prison receives $109 million. Cook County Juvenile Probation receives $30 million. 
$1.5 million. Illinois Department of Corrections. Holy fucking shit. Are you ready for this one? Corrections, because it fucking corrected me. I am fixed. I'm not angry. $893 million for corrections. I'm corrected. Illinois governor's office receives $16 million. Attorney general's office receives $49 million. The Chicago mayor's office receives $8 million approximately. In a nutshell, the total funding for Cook County is approximately $5.92 billion. That you spend on your wonderful state governments, your wonderful Chicago governments. The majority of your federal taxes goes to the Department of Defense and Military. And I am goddamn proud of my federal government and our military. I know where my money goes to. Some will argue with me on that, which is fine. That's your right. But at least my federal government isn't fuck-ups like all of these motherfuckers are. At least my federal government is doing their job. At least Department of Defense is doing their job. At least the federal agencies are doing their job. But the Chicago city government and the state of Illinois government isn't doing their job. Do you find it interesting when you go over six miles per hour? The city and the state government, they could track you down. But when you shoot at a seven-year-old little kid... You got detectives from the Chicago Police Department busting their asses off, going door to door, asking for surveillance camera footage. Do you find it interesting if you blow a red light, which you really didn't even blow the red light, it was just yellow, and yellow means be careful, does not mean give the city money? Do you find it interesting when you blow the yellow light, allegedly according to the city? They could track you down. But when you try to kidnap a little girl who I'm not even going to bring up her race because we already know. We don't know what happened. We have no idea. I don't know. You really want to fix Chicago? They don't. It's beyond disturbing and sad to me that my brain is wired one way and your brain is wired another way. It is extremely complicated for someone like me to try to transfer this information and inform you and let you know of how a scam and a scheme works. It's hard to get you to understand that in your brain. My brain is a Mac computer with the G4000 trillion chip in it. And I have plenty of memory and RAM that is capable of holding information and figuring things out. Your brain is an IBM computer from the late 80s, early 90s at best. You can't hold this information that I have just provided you in your brain for two reasons. You are scared to believe that this is all happening intentionally. You are so frightened to believe this is happening intentionally. And the other reason is you're just embarrassed of your government, as I am beyond embarrassed of my government. I hate my fucking state government. I can't stand my city fucking officials and their government ass. I think they're worthless. I think they make excuses. I think they're lame. I think they're liars. I don't think they can get a job anywhere fucking else if it wasn't for crime. I'm embarrassed of them too. But I'm not going to ignore the simple facts here. They came up with the red light camera system. You go over six miles per hour, they got a camera 
that zooms into your license plate. They got a camera that shows the whole entire body of the car. They got a system where the light flashes. Then they send you a ticket in the mail. Pay them money. They found you. But when you shoot at a kid who's riding his bicycle, why do you think that is? Because that black girl who got shot is not worth a billion dollars like the red light camera system is. That little Mexican kid riding his bike who got shot is not worth a billion dollars the way the red light camera system is. That's the reality of it. That Chicago police officer who got shot, he ain't worth shit! Like the red light camera system is. So tell me, how does that make you feel? Big business. During 9-11, I lived in Bridgeview and I met plenty of intelligent people. You know what one of those intelligent people told me? Eric, he pulled me to the side because it didn't add up to me. It didn't make sense to me because I know how scams work for the obvious reasons. War is big business. You could either swallow it or you can let it get stuck here and choke on it. I don't like it. It's fucking disgusting. It ain't going to get you heaven points. It's going to get you in hell when your time is up down here from natural causes on earth. But it is what it is. I swallowed it. War is big business. Crime is big business. You ever wonder why you never saw me on Fox Chicago? You ever wonder why you never saw me on the media? The media won't put me on. Give this to the media. Someone who's not named Black Sakin. Someone who's not a convicted felon. Someone who is not allegedly crazy. Give this to the media. And see if they let you talk about this. They won't. Because the media gets paid money from this. You don't believe me? Well, look at all the ads that pop up before the media. You don't believe me? Look at Bab Bob Saget, who unfortunately went to heaven, who I admire and watch Full House all the time when I was a kid. Go ahead, laugh. I don't care. You should be laughing at this. What did the media say when they arrived to his, outside his hotel? We're reporting live outside Fox Bob Saget's hotel, where we are the first ones on the location. This guy just died? And you're bragging how you're the first one to report? I, I, I can't. Just, I'm moving to the suburbs. This is one of my last YouTube videos. My heart goes out to all of you people in Chicago. You're not dying because you're black. You're not dying because you're Mexican. You're not dying because you're a Chicago police officer. You're dying because you're poor. And you're dying because the state government doesn't care about each and every single one of you three individuals. You're dying for their insecurities. You're dying so these motherfuckers won't have a job that pays them this amount of money. Find me one person. One company, any CEO watching this now, and I know I got some of you fuckers on my channel, anybody who runs a, a major company, would you pay the state government this salary? No. Fuck no. The pension? The salary? For what? What's their qualifications? <laughs> they don't have any. NBA player, they got a degree. They were taught that. They get hurt. They can't play basketball. They have a degree. Almost all of them do. FBI, four years minimum, college. CIA, we ain't even got to talk about that. Most of those men and women, or a handful of those men and women, have a natural talent where they didn't even have to go to college. They just have a natural talent. 
God-given talent, and they got recruited. What's all these people's talents right here? What's your talent? Your talent is you're a liar. You're insecure. You're not that good looking. So you need to resort to this. Crime pays. What pains me so much breaks my heart, makes me sad, makes me depressed. There is this dance instructor who got shot and he made his transition from earth to heaven. There's this little girl screaming, crying. Why did you have to do that? Just let us live. Just let us live our life. She can't live her life because she's poor. Because she lives in a poor community. So no one cares about her. You can keep saying black all you want to. And you're not too far from the truth. But it's mainly because you're poor. No one cares about Little Village. I had a meeting with the alderman in Little Village. I informed him and I told that motherfucker, let's install more surveillance camera. And I even offered to buy a few. And he told me no. What happened? Well, a couple months later, kid got shot. Chicago police, the investigators, what are they doing? They're all checking surveillance videos. They're all checking surveillance cameras. I emailed back that alderman. I said, hey, I want you to know I forgive you for your ignorance. Would you like to put up those surveillance cameras now to make it easier for the Chicago police investigators? Of course he ignored me. Don't vote for him. Then he has a nerve to ask me, am I recording this Zoom meeting? I'm not. Me personally, I didn't. You're disgusting. You're a disgusting fat fuck. You're a, all of you are disgusting. I know you want money. In my 20s, I wanted money too, and I got it. I cut a lot of corners, not what you see on Google. I cut a lot of corners. We all want money. But there's certain rules that you just don't break to get money. You don't condole murder. You're murdering these people in Chicago so you can have a job and get the little money you have. You're murdering these people. Chicago police goes door to door to door to door every single fucking time a little girl gets shot and killed. Every single time it's a little kid. You see investigators going door to door to door. Do you have a surveillance camera? There's a shooting here. Do you have a surveillance camera? A little girl just died. Do you have a surveillance camera? No, we can't afford one. Yeah, we have it, but we believe in the code in the street and we don't like police, so you're not getting it. Fuck off. But the red light cameras, <laughs> they're all laid out. It's all a big organization. You want to fix Chicago? Here's your shot. This is your one shot. They're going to do this anyway. In the district. Start with one. Just one. Can't do a whole entire city. You have a problem doing this. In the district. 7th district, 11th district. Just put up 500 cameras and label them. Camera 1, camera 2, camera 3, camera 4, camera 5. Zoom in. And that camera goes all the way. You could zoom in and see someone's zit. You could zoom in and see someone's contact. you never been in the control room. During 9-11, I had a couple jobs, and I was in two control rooms, multiple cameras. Camera one, camera two, camera three. I hit camera one. I zoom in with the controller, the joystick, see someone's contact if I wanted to. Zoom back out, see the whole thing. Follow, 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 follow. You're at the end of the road. You're at the end of Roosevelt. Go to camera two. Just remember where you left camera one. And in that district, one through 500, one through 300, there's two police officers who are nerds when it comes to cameras and they control them. Any problems here? Call this district. Call the camera department. Every Chicago police department in their district has approximately 500 cameras, at the very least 300. Contact him. My name is so-and-so. I'm from the north side. My suspect just went to Inglewood. 
We're looking if you could check the camera on this timestamp because on my camera system, it went off frame and I don't have access to your camera system. No problem. That's how to do it. Second, eighth grade, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, take a field trip. Let all the kids in Chicago take a field trip to the control room, to the camera system room. Let them see the camera. Let them work the camera. Plant the seed in their heads at an early age. Now when they're out on the street, they realize, damn, that camera up on that pole, you know that thing could zoom in to see my contact? They'll stop. Psychology goes with technology. Rules of engagement. There's a certain way to scam money. Not with murder. And then all of you public officials, all of you people, you go on TV all the time asking for the public's help. And then when I contact you and I give you all the answers, you ignore me. I advise each and every single one of you Chicago residents. I'm Blacksican. I'm a marked man. A lot of people, they're racist. They don't, name, they don't like the name Blacksican. A lot of people, they think I'm cuckoo. Maybe. A lot of people, oh, he had a problem with Madigan, and we suck Madigan's cock till the end. We can't deal with him. That's fine. Fuck me. I'm moving to the suburbs anyway. You people, though. Contact your public officials, give them the answers on OperationChicago.com, take away OperationChicago.com, and put your name in there. See if your public officials will listen. They will not listen, because once these cameras are installed in, once the psychology is planted for these students at an early age, once these kids go on a field trip, and they know, once crime goes away, the government goes away and their salaries goes away, and they're working at Amazon like almost everybody else. Who else would pay you this salary? Who else would give you this pension? You're disgusting. And then you go home to your wives and your kids, and you blame. It's just, you're just disgusting. You're just a demon. I have never been around more demons in my life when I see these public so-called officials. Let the kid live. You want to scam and steal money? At this point, I don't even give a fuck. Just let the kids live, man. Really, do something. I have so many emails from public officials. I have so... I got some fucked up videos, too. Trust me. I got some fucked up videos of people looking for certain recordings. Yeah, looking for that recording still? <laughs> right, I know. Don't worry about me. Why even release that to the public? Even if you don't get voted back in, which you people probably won't, or if you do, they're just going to find new people who are demons like you. Let the kids live a life. Stop putting on this show. We don't know how to fix Chicago. I just gave you all the answers. You said to yourself, holy fucking shit. This is right. If he does this, crime will stop. We won't get paid. No. You won't. You don't deserve your salary. You don't have a master's degree. You're, you don't deserve your salary. And quite frankly... I'm doing you a favor by you quitting your government job because the majority of you state government employees, you're all miserable anyway. There's a handful of you who are good people and you're really trying, but as you get older, you start to realize this shit is just all corrupt and I hate my fucking job. There is one wish I had, then I'm going to end this. If there was one wish I had out of three wishes, it's not my first wish, but if there was one wish that I had, I wish that I never met any of you so-called public officials and your staff and your scam because it's it pollutes my head. You're a disgusting person. You're an insecure person. After I'm done being angry, I sincerely feel sorry for a lot of you people. I feel more sorry for that little girl crying on TV, let us just live. And I feel even more sorry for 
the cops trying to find surveillance cameras because you can't put them up. Every single person has an excuse. Well, contact this person, contact that person, contact this person. This is above my head. I can't do this. Everyone has an excuse. But you didn't have an excuse for the red light cameras. Contact your public officials, try to set up a meeting, and try to install these cameras 1 through 500, or at least 1 through 200, and see what your public officials tell you. They don't want this to stop, ladies and gentlemen. Crime is big business. War is big business.